I can tell you it started with a little hotel that was built in Germantown. And I ended up restoring this hotel, and it was a Rockefeller-built hotel. So as I, as I opened the hotel, and I got to meet all the people and the surrounding neighbors and everybody, the hotel became a hub of people coming in and seeing what's going on in the town. And what I noticed is all these artists in our community, there were people you didn't even realize were artists. And as I got to roam and see different places in the area, I'd always see, like, if I went up to Olana, which is Frederick Church's home um, that is restored as a historic site, he was a famous painter, you'd always see the students sitting out there with their, with their paintbrushes, very excited. They were very happy to be in this place with th this beautiful view of the Hudson River Valley. It draws people from near and far. If I look at my guest book, I, I, ha I put a big smile on my face because it is so, it's so international. It's so, it's so, it's local. It's all the way to, from New York City, all the way to Finland. And, and for me, that excites me. And a lot of people do come here for the art. I mean, with, with Bard College being one of the more diverse and creative schools in our nation, um, it attracts a very, um, very creative type of person and our area is just so magically beautiful and um, I think that everybody seems to uh, fall in love with it so the people that visit the hotel are always looking can I buy a house here maybe and live here and that's what usually happens we, we've had I've had many guests who are wedding guests that come back and they're like I, I want to live here what do I do to live here and many of them are artists and um, the hotel also hosts the New York Academy of Art for their residency program, which, which during our slow time, they'll come, the, the Hudson Valley's beautiful all year round in many different seasons, and they take advantage of that. When the hotel's slow, they say, can we get a good deal? And I say, absolutely, we, we'll give that to you. And we're just excited to have everybody come and experience what we experience every day. So that's really nice. I think Rachel would have a lot to add to that. I have other things to say. Martin's <laughs> Hotel is the central house, and that's in Germantown. And one of the things that's so special about Germantown is that it's a little off the beaten path. So it's a very small main street with a market, with a variety store, with a hotel, and not much more. And it's very rural community, so farmers, farmland. And one of the most important things for us here is to preserve the open spaces and to preserve the farmlands and to preserve the viewshed of the river. If you go to the north to Hudson, there's a very large town with a lot of antique stores and it's been attracting people from New York City and all around for probably 25 years. The town of Hudson has been developing and towns to the south have been developing. And the beautiful thing about Germantown is that it stayed the same. And so the opportunity is to have Germantown be a place where people can come for art and culture and not necessarily the commerce, that you can drive 10 minutes and be somewhere else, but here it's still preserved, that you can hear the wind in the trees and you can hear the birds and you can hear the rain. And those are the things that inspire artists. And so that partnership of bringing the art here, the Chinese art here, that one, to educate people about what Chinese art is and the relationship of nature and man and Chinese art, which is so common to what is happening in the Hudson River Valley. And same with the Hudson River Valley painters. They painted this river in every season, like Martin said. Every day it changes, every sunset looks different. If you wait a day, the colors change. And tomorrow that tree that's green will be orange. And so for an artist to have inspiration constantly is really special. And so I hope that Germantown stays beautiful and natural, and we want it to be a place for artists and for people who appreciate art. Your target outings, I mean, Target um, is not the public, but uh, especially for the artists. If uh, a lot of tourists come in, there is crowded that maybe we think, I think we, we think about how Germantown would develop. I think this everywhere around the world has to address how do you deal with a growing population and with development. 
we would we want to support economic development here. Bringing people here is a good thing because it helps local businesses and it helps keep the town healthy. It means the school can grow and they can have programs and so those things are really important but um, being selective about how the town develops and not just build houses on the river you know where where you have a beautiful river that should be preserved because it's looked like this for thousands of years and so i think that's probably being more selective about how to develop it but of course we want people to come here and appreciate it i think it's about responsible growth mm -hmm. and you just have to be responsible about what you do and how you do it and be um I think you've got to conserve. I think you have to recycle. I think you have to um, sometimes give something a new life. We, for instance, we took the tree that had fallen on the home, on the big manor home here, and we had cut it up into planks, and that will become a new farm table. And so we just like giving things new life. A lot of things in my hotel are things that I've found that I have fixed or repurposed I call them and they co they come out so beautiful and for me that's part of art too art has so many different different um, meanings and and values and for us we were able to get a show like this done and it touched all the really important things to us with preserving a historic site bringing students in to see the art which is part of the education Germantown also has a sister city in China which is very which is very nice I'm not. We, I, uh, we don't know the name. Yeah, I am so sorry. I should have. But I, actually, the the sister city. There's been students who traveled from Germantown to China, and the sister city is an industrial city. And we're actually trying to set up a relationship with a city that's more country, like here, so that we have something in common in terms of the art and the nature. This is what we want to also share. But we just the learned vision. about that. We just learned about the sister city. We didn't realize that the school had already had that relationship. So that we found in this project all of these really special relationships where you think that it's original and then you find out someone's already doing it and had thought about it. So it, there's a lot of meaning in. in exactly. There, there's, and there lies the passion. You know, there lies the passion. And art always has a way of bringing people together in peace, love, harmony, all that stuff. It, I mean, you can see what what happens here you i mean you've you've come to the area and you've seen it so that's what i always ask people to do come see it and then decide if this is one of the most beautiful places you've ever seen